Today we're going to learn about analysis of variance, called, also called ANOVA, and specifically we're going to look at the F-test. So analysis of variance helps us determine the usefulness of the independent variable or variables in explaining the variance in the dependent variable. So when we do an analysis of variance, we conduct an F-test. An F-test is just a ratio of variances. And so we're specifically, we're, we're testing the slope coefficients. I don't know if they are equal or not equal to zero. So let's dive in and take a look at these equations. And I know this looks a little intimidating, but it's actually very simple. So we have here a sum, we have several components inputs. We have a sum of squared errors, and these are inputs into our F test. We have the sum of squared errors. If you notice here, all we have is we have the observed values or the of the dependent variable, the actual values, minus our predicted value of the dependent variable using a regression equation. And then we square that and we find the sum. That's the sum of squared errors. We've actually figured that out before. We also now have the regression sum of squares. And that is similar, just that we're taking our predicted value, y hat, minus the average or the mean of all of the dependent variables, actual dependent variables. We square that and we sum that. And you'll notice if we, if we add these together, y hat cancels out, and we have the total sum of squares which is y, the actual value is y minus, minus the average. And so now let's dive into our f-test. So our f-test is really simple. It's We have a regression sum of squares, and we this numerator here, we're dividing by k. What is k? That is the number or of the slope coefficients. And then we divide that by the sum of squared errors divided by the degrees of freedom. So again, we usually use the NOVA or the f-test in a multivariate regression. So, for example, if we had a multivariable regression, k would be, let's say it was a three-factor model, we would have three slopes. So it would be RSS minus three. And then for the sum of squared errors, when you divide by degrees of freedom, what are we doing here? We're just taking the observed values, n, minus k, which is the number of slope coefficients, plus one, which is the intercept, because these are regression coefficients. Well, we want all the coefficients. So once we do that, we get our mean regression sum of squares here in the numerator, and we have our mean squared errors in our denominator. And we can interpret this as the larger this value, the better. And that, that makes intuitive sense, right? So smaller the denominator, the mean squared errors, the larger this F statistic will be. 